you wait? Well, sorry about that. Cheapers. Well, I told you that's why I want a lock on the door. Well, I guess that's another honeydew DIY in store for me. Yeah, well, get on that. Today I'm replacing the pocket door hardware that came on our RV, which is just a magnet system with this magnets to this magnet plate, and it just has these little inserts here to help you open and close the door. I'm replacing that with this kit which I got from Lowe's. It's made for a pocket door. It's made to be able to just pop in the existing hardware that's already there. The way it works, when you turn the latch, this little hook pops out when it hits the inside of the door and it locks against this mechanism right here and creates a lock. So we're gonna replace these little pocket uh, inserts right here. We're gonna take the magnet hardware out and we're gonna put this new hardware in. Luckily, our door already comes with these holes drilled and these actually will fit right in there just like that. The first thing we have to do is get these little inserts out of the door and I just take a screwdriver, get behind them and just slowly work them out without scratching the door. Once you get one out, I already took the one out the other side, you can just pop it out from the inside and it leaves the, the door like this. Now, if your door doesn't come with this, you're gonna have to drill this hole and you just follow the instructions inside the a lock to make sure you drill the appropriate size hole and in the correct place. And after taking those out, we're gonna take off the magnet plate. Well, I've already done this, and I'm just kind of redoing it for this video. Take off the magnet plate. Now, when I did mine, there's, there wasn't a hole here. I drilled this hole for this new mechanism. I'll get to that in a second. Okay, now I have to take off the magnet plate from the other side of the door. Okay, now what that leaves is just the door. Now you can see I've already drilled out the insert for the, the piece that's gonna go inside here. What this came with before I did this was just a flat piece of the door. This little insert cutout was not there and that's something that we're gonna have to do when putting this together. Okay, the locking mechanism itself is gonna fit in here like this. Now the door already had this hole drilled right here um, so I didn't have to do that, but I did have to wind it out and I did have to make um, a plate. So what I did, I put it across the door like this, I made a mark around it, then I used a Dremel tool to drill this piece out. Now the Dremel tool I like to use is just my battery powered Dremel tool here and I just used this zip router bit and just routed out the edges to make sure that when this fit right in, this will fit in there nice and snug right in there perfectly. So that's the first thing you got to do is attach this and put that in there. After this is screwed in, it's easy to just bolt on the locking mechanism itself. Just take the lock and pop it in there, goes in there like this. Goes in with the bottom, cross on the bottom. Fits in there like two screws. So that's what that looks like right there. You got the lock mechanism in there, firmly attached. Now we have to just attach these two pieces. This piece goes on the outside and it goes in this orientation, has a little cross just fits into the cross right in there like that. That goes on the ins on the outside. This piece goes on the inside and you see it has a little cross. It has to go opposite cross to that. So it goes like this and it fits in there like that. Make sure your holes are lining up. And then two screws, you can rotate this so you can get to your screws. I got two screws that come with the hardware kit. And that's snugly in there like that. That's the way the lock works. Just pops open and close like that. Just make sure it's 
working nice and smoothly. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is put this plate on the opposite side from the lock. Now, when I started, there was not a hole here. I have to drill this hole. So what I did was I lined it up with the lock. I pulled the lock across like this. I lined it up, figured out where exactly where I wanted my locking plate here. And then I had to carve this hole. So I just drew a line around it and figured out where exactly this hole had to be. Then again, I went back with my Dremel tool. Now you just want to make sure that you've got this deep enough so when this lock mechanism is fully protruded, when it's sticking out, it's deep enough to go all the way in there. You can see the lock here, there's a little hook right here. And when this pops up, this little hook comes out right here. And when that little hook comes up, it, inter it uh, interacts with this locking plate here and that's what creates the lock. And so once I had that figured, just lock that in place right there, put it right in place. I have my two screws. So now, when I go and I close the door, it locks. Okay, now it just goes in and closes. You can see it's going to go like that. Goes in, closes, locks, and there's a locking mechanism there. Okay, just close the door. And it locks and if I try to get in it's locked. Now while Alice had me in the DIY mood she asked me to replace the door lock that's on the bedroom. Now the, the locks that come on these bedroom doors don't have any locks they're just an open and closed. They don't even have what I would call like a bathroom lock which has got you know one of these on it. But what I'm going to replace it with is a lock that has a key to the outside and then it has a lock on the inside. Um, this just gives her a little bit better uh, feeling of security, especially when I'm not around, that she can lock the bedroom door um, so she's safe at night. So this is actually a really easy replacement. Um, these RV doors actually are very similar to just a regular door. They're just a little bit thinner. And most of the hardware that pops in here is exactly the same as the hardware you're just going to find at a regular lock at Lowe's. So let's pop that out. Take out the old hardware. Now the, the lock itself, believe it or not, was in there that loosely from um, the manufacturer. So this just pulled out nice and easy. The replacement that I got at Lowe's works exactly the same way. It just pops right in there. I put a little bit of tape around it because I want it to fit, fit just a little bit snugger so that it fits in there just perfectly. So that's what the replacement looked like. That's what the old one looks like and that's what the new one looks like and it fits in there nice and snug. So then I'm going to put the lock piece on the outside. Has the key. Lock on the outside. And this piece on the inside. Just got to line it up properly. That lines up. Make sure that's good. Put the screws in. Okay, that's in there nice and snug and the door lock works good. Now the strike plate on the inside of the door is just a little bit different than the original one. So we're gonna put the one that came in the kit on the door. I can use a key to lock it. And we can't get inside the door anymore. Okay, most of the tools that you need for these projects, everybody's gonna have around their RV. Just a power drill tip with a Phillips head and just a screwdriver. You can actually don't even need the power drill, you just need a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. 
pretty simple except for drilling out the pockets in the door and you're going to need something to drill those out i don't know how anybody gets around an rv and doing rv diy without a dremel tool i use this on pretty much almost every project i get involved with with the rv there's always something that needs to either be drilled or sanded or cut or something like that and i highly recommend if you don't already have a dremel to get a dremel uh, a battery powered one is definitely better for an rv and then make sure you get a good kit of accessories um, for it i keep this little plastic uh, tackle box and it's full of all kinds of cutting bits router bits steel cutting bits wood cutting sanders grinders polishers everything is in here to attack uh, any diy project i have around the rv so if you don't already have a dremel go out and get one because they are awesome honey can you let me in the bedroom no i told you i want to go see the lighthouse but I have to edit a video. I don't care. I'm not doing anything, and I mean anything, until we go see that lighthouse. Oh, man. Well, thanks for watching this RV DIY video on replacing the bedroom and bathroom locks in the RV. Now, do you miss having a lock on your bedroom or bathroom in the RV? Did you come up with a different solution for locking the doors? please leave that in the comments. Now we're always trying to improve making this type of video, so please leave a comment on how we can do things better. Now, we do lots of these RV DIY and full-time RV living videos, and if you like that kind of content, please consider subscribing to our channel to the link down there. Now I'm also gonna leave a link to a playlist of more RV DIY type videos, and that link will be up there. So thanks for watching, and remember, Downsizing does make sense.